Hi, and welcome to episode 123 of the RP Minute. I'm your host, Rebecca McCabe. SAP began the week by announcing its financial results for the fourth quarter and fiscal year ended December 31st, 2023. Total revenue grew 6% year-over-year to 31.2 billion euros, while S4 HANA revenue grew 67% year-over-year to approximately 3.5 billion euros. SAP also grew its current cloud backlog by 25% to 13.7 billion euros, an all-time high for the company. SAP maintains its stronghold in the ERP market, and like many other ERP giants, SAP will look to expand its cloud customer base by extending even deeper into the SMB space, with solutions like Grow and Rise. Next, Oracle announced the general availability of Oracle Opera Cloud Central. The all-in-one hospitality platform unifies data and functionality from Opera Cloud's modules under a common user interface and experience. With it, customers can get a comprehensive view of their hotel business, including distribution, sales, service integrations, loyalty programs, and more, to make faster decisions that can benefit staff and guests. Opera provides more connectivity to hotel-related customers so that they can make better decisions across the entire business, including adjacent services beyond normal hospitality tasks. In other news, IFS announced that it has appointed Sophie Graham as Chief Sustainability Officer. This role reflects IFS's continued commitment to its sustainability strategy and ambition to accelerate the delivery of its environmental, social, and governance ESG agenda. Many vendors are prioritizing their ESG goals to keep up with global initiatives, and we can expect more positions like this to take center stage in the coming years. Finally, Click announced the establishment of its inaugural AI Council, an initiative that further embeds ethical AI development at the heart of the company's mission and industry proposition. By convening a distinguished set of advisors, Click will accelerate the responsible development of its AI-driven product portfolio, benefiting from the expertise of some of the world's most prominent AI experts to help customers use their data to achieve more significant business outcomes. This comes at the perfect time with Click's acquisition of Kindy and growing AI strategy. Programs like this will continue to grow as AI becomes more prominently used in regular business processes. Thanks for tuning in to the ERP Minute. We are always looking for newsworthy material to share with our listeners, so send us breaking ERP news. Be sure to subscribe to our Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube channels so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next week.